Hi guys, welcome back to my channel today. Today's video is the third video I am filming for 2018 and I am hearing you guys. I am listening to your requests. I have actually gotten quite a few requests for how I organize my jewelry. So I thought to myself, you know what, let me film a jewelry organization video. So I'm going to take you through all of my jewelry, how I store them, how I organize it. And if you guys have any questions on anything, make sure to leave it below as always. And just keep in mind that I can tend to be a little bit of a pack rat when it comes to jewelry. I don't know, fashion clothes, shoes, purses, makeup. It's just kind of my thing. It's what I love. So over the years, I have collected an abundance. So sometimes it can maybe come across like I'm a bit of a pack rat or a bit of a hoarder with it. So I try to do the best I can to organize it. But yeah, so if you guys are interested in seeing my jewelry organization and storage, then keep watching. And if you are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me and let's get started. Okay guys, this right here is where I store all of my jewelry. This is from Ikea. These are their famous Alex drawers. Guys, they are so amazing for storing jewelry. I can't say enough. I have a lot of jewelry that I've collected over the years and these drawers have just done such a good job of enabling me to keep things organized. So let's jump right into the drawers and I can show you what I keep in here. So the first drawer, this is where I keep all of my Kendra Scott earrings. I absolutely love Kendra Scott. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know that they're my favorite brand. So if you guys ever want me to do a Kendra Scott collection, I'd be more than happy to. So that's the first drawer. And then diving into the second drawer. This is where I keep like right here. I love the Kate Spade little gumdrop earrings, so I just keep them in a box. And then in here, this is where I keep a lot of my little, like I love dichroic glass earrings and I get them from Fire and Ice. And then back here, this is kind of where I keep a lot of my colored pearl earrings. They're not real pearls. Um, I've gotten them for like a couple bucks each, but I like wearing those with casual outfits. And all I've done here is I just have a lot of old boxes, you know, jewelry boxes that I put stuff in just to kind of separate it. And then here, this is fashion tape, and then I just have some old jewelry holders in case they ever need those or run out of those. But this drawer is actually kind of a little messy compared to the rest. So let's go to the third drawer here. So this third drawer, so I love dangle earrings and it became so overwhelming because I just had a lot, I collected a lot of them over the years. So what I did here is I have little boxes and I cut out little organizers, but you can certainly go and buy jewelry organizers. And I try to have a color coordinated. So here I have my turquoise earrings. Back here you can have like my pinkish purple. And then over here you have like cream colored earrings. So that's that drawer. Okay. Now this one, it's the same situation. I just have boxes. This is where I keep... Um, blue toned earrings and then over here are orange or coral and then in the back there I have like purple and fuchsia okay now this drawer this is where I keep a lot of statement necklaces um, I used to have everything kind of like color coordinated um, this is the drawer that I keep a lot of the multicolored jewelry in so I kind of tried to lay them all out, but I do have to be careful because sometimes I will lose some of the rhinestones if there are too many necklaces in here. So I have to be careful. So that's that drawer. And then the next drawer, this is where I keep a lot of my statement bib necklaces. Like if you guys have been watching me, you know I love these. I got I get them from Aldo. So this is where I keep the bib necklaces. Okay, then down here, same situation. It's another drawer filled with bib necklaces. And then down here, we have some more of the coral slash pink colored necklaces and some other um, unique, um, I guess you could call them statement necklaces as well. And then in the bottom here, we have some more turquoise slash blue statement necklaces. I love turquoise. I have an abundance of turquoise necklaces because that color is definitely my favorite. Okay, so 
that was this one right here. Now let's go over here and let me give you a shot of my other one. So I have another Alex drawer here and then here I have two boxes that I got from my aunt. She actually got them for me one Christmas and they have been awesome to store earrings. She got them from Michael's. So you open them up and this is where I keep when I was in college, I was a little obsessed with BB and I got a lot of their earrings and these earrings were kind of special to me. So I kind of put all of those in here. And then this box just has earrings that I would wear, you know, kind of in the summertime with dresses. They're the more um, plasticky type earrings. Okay, so then let me give you another shot of the Alex drawers. Like I said, I got two of them and they are great. The only negative with the Alex drawers is I feel bad for whoever has to put them together because they literally come in like a thousand pieces. Okay, first drawer here. We have some more um, Kendra Scott jewelry and these are kind of the nice, nicer pieces that I have in my collection. Um, these are some earrings that I got when um, I hosted the product launch. And then I got that necklace too. And then I have these, which are the opal ones. I love opal or anything turquoise. And I have this necklace. And I just try to keep things organized. They um, had sent me, was it this bracelet? They had sent me this bracelet, which I love these bracelets. And I have a bunch of these bags. Every earring that you buy or necklace comes with those bags. And I just save them for travel. Okay, next drawer. This is where I keep a lot of my rings. I got this little velvet ring holder. I want to say I got it on Amazon or eBay. And then the rest of these are just old boxes. So this is where I keep some of the larger rings that won't fit in here. So this ring is special to me because my friend Lindsay gave it to me. I was the maid of honor in her wedding and so she gave her bridal party these shell rings and they got married at the beach so I thought that was cute. And then here are just some, these are just some random bracelets and necklaces that I wasn't really sure where to put so I kind of separated them here. Okay, next drawer. Um, have more earrings. This is where I keep the green ones. And then this is where I keep red. And you can see I just took an old shoe box and I cut it just to kind of section it off to make it fit in the drawers. Here I have this is an old watch box. Um, when I was in college, I used to be really into like the surfing style, like the board shorts, all that kind of stuff. So I have this box. This is where I keep a lot of my belly rings. Um, and they're still in the bag here because when I travel, um, I have them here. I like to have them match my bathing suit. And then I just have some of these no-shows. These are so good in the summertime if you're wearing a dress and you can't wear a bra with it. It is really good at concealing your nipples so nobody can see. So these are good if you haven't tried them and you can wear them multiple times, which is nice. Okay, next drawer, we have my watches and bracelets. So I have some Michael Kors watches. Neither one of these work. I have to get the battery replaced. And then this is a Yod watch that they sent to me. It's really beautiful. It's a wooden watch. And then here we have some bracelets. These are some Michael Kors bracelets. And then back here, same Michael Kors and um, Kate Spade. My friend Lindsay gave me this one. So that's that drawer. This drawer is just empty. I just kind of throw old, you know, empty boxes in here. Okay, this drawer is a little excessive, I know. I used to be really into bangle bracelets when I was in college. So I have a bunch of these bracelets here, um, and they fit perfectly in this drawer. And the one nice thing about these Alex drawers, you'll see you have the thinner you have the thinner drawers up here and at the bottom these are thicker so if you have something larger that you want to store you can okay then in here this is where I keep a lot of my beaded necklaces in the summer I like to wear skirts and tank tops and I like to wear these beaded necklaces so I keep all of them in here and then the final drawer that we have actually let me move my my rug the drawer that we have these are bracelets like beaded bracelets and I just took old boxes put them in here and I tried to separate these and color coordinate them it's a lot of work to start but once you do it it keeps everything really really organized 
Okay, so again, there is a shot of that Alex drawer. And then over here, um, this is these are some of the new drugstore products that I purchased in my recent drugstore haul. So I haven't forgotten. I'm still going to do a tutorial testing out those new products for you. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys, so that is my Alex drawer there, my boxes from Michael's. And then swinging around here, you have my my other Alex drawer as well. And then I have one more thing to show you in this closet here. Okay, so I have one of these plastic racks that I bought from Target. And this is where I keep a lot of my dangle necklaces that need to hang. Because if I don't, they will get twisted. For the longest time, I was really into these bobble necklaces and I still am but this is where I hang all of these and then here you have the you know the pendant necklaces or the lanyard type and then here are some beaded ones over here that would get twisted so that was it was probably really inexpensive like five or six bucks so that's where I keep those but yeah guys so that is a quick overview for you guys I hope you enjoyed and if you guys have any questions about anything else feel free to ask Okay guys, well there you go, there you have it. That was my jewelry organization and storage. If you have any questions like usual, please be sure to leave it in the description box below and I will be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to join me. And again, if you have any more requests for 2018, make sure to leave it in the description box below because I aim to please you guys. I love you so much and thank you again for all of your support. Have a good day.